Good morning. I am Devasinga. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about blood and its groups. This topic is present in the subject medical electronics. Blood. Blood is a body fluid in humans and other animals that delivers necessary substance such as nutrients and oxygen to the cells and transports metabolic waste products away from those same cells. Here is a representation of the blood that is present inside the blood vessel. In vertebrates, it is composed of blood cells suspended in blood plasma. Let us see the components of the blood. The blood consists of red blood cells or erythrocytes. There is a representation of red blood cells and white blood cells or leukocytes. Here is a representation of white blood cells and we have platelets or thrombocytes. Here is a representation of platelets or thrombocytes. Here is a representation of red blood cell or erythrocyte. A red blood cell which in humans is typically a biconcave disc without a nucleus. Erythrocytes contain the pigment hemoglobin. This is the hemoglobin which imparts the red color to blood and the transport oxygen and carbon dioxide to and from the tissues that is the main purpose of the red blood cell is to carry oxygen throughout the body red blood cell animation is shown here in this diagram we are having the flow of red blood cell in the blood vessel red blood cell bone marrow a red blood cell is made in the bone marrow and found in the blood here is a representation the bone marrow is a spongy substance found in the center of the bones here we have a bone marrow it is a spongy substance inside the bone marrow the red blood cells have been generated to manufacture bone marrow stem cells and other substances which in turn produce blood cells here is a representation of process of distribution of oxygen to the tissues in this diagram the oxygen that is present from the lungs is transferred to the red blood cell already in the red blood cell we have hemoglobin molecules now this red blood cell contain a protein called hemoglobin this hemoglobin carries oxygen from the lungs to all parts of the body then the oxygen combined with the hemoglobin creates a bond now this oxygen bonded with the hemoglobin molecules is passed to the tissues through the blood vessel and in the tissue the oxygen is released this is represented here checking the number of red blood cells in the blood is usually part of a complete blood cell that is CBC test white blood cells white blood cells are part of the body's immune system they help the body fight infection and other diseases here is a representation of white blood cells types of white blood cells are granulocytes it comprises of neutrophils eosinophils and basophils monocytes and lymphocytes neutrophils 
first respond to bacteria or a virus. Eosinophils known for their role in allergy symptoms. Basophils known for their role in asthma. Lymphocytes fight infections by producing antibodies. Monocytes clean up dead cells. Platelets are thrombocytes. Platelets are thrombocytes are small colorless cell fragments in our blood that form clots and stop or prevent bleeding. There is a representation of the platelets and the activation of the platelet process is shown here. Platelets are made in our bone marrow, the sponge-like tissue inside our bones. Bone marrow contains stem cells that develop into red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. Blood flow representation is shown here. In this diagram, we are seeing the flow of blood inside the blood vessel. The blood comprises of a red blood cell white blood cell platelets these are shown in this figure so far we have discussed about the components of the blood let us discuss about the blood type and the groups formed in the blood a blood type is a classification of blood based on the presence and absence of antibodies and inherited antigenic substances on the surface of red blood cells. These antigens may be proteins, carbohydrates, glycoproteins or glycolipids depending on the blood group system. Blood groups. There are four main blood groups that is types of blood. They are blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB and blood group O. Your blood group is determined by the genes you inherit from your parents. Antigen. An antigen is any substance that causes your immune system to produce antibodies against it. Here is a representation of an antigen and antibody. This antigen induces the formation of antibodies because it is recognized by the immune system as a threat. This means your immune system does not recognize the substance and is trying to fight it off. Antibody An antibody also known as an immunoglobulin is a large y-shaped protein used by the immune system to identify and neutralize foreign objects here is a representation of the antibody here antigen binding fragment takes place blood group a here is a representation of the blood group A. In this blood group A, it has A antigens on the red blood cells. This is the A antigen that is present on the surface of the red blood cells. With anti B antibodies in the plasma. Here is a representation of a blood group B. This blood group B has B antigens on the surface of the red blood cells. This is the B antigen. And the plasma has anti A antibody for blood group B. Here is a representation of a blood group AB. Blood group AB has both A 
and the antigens on the surface of the red blood cells. But the plasma for the blood group AB does not contain anti A or anti B antibodies. Here the plasma antibodies are none in blood group AB. Here is a representation of blood group O. The plasma of the blood group O contains both anti A and anti B antibodies. But the surface of the red blood cells does not contain any A or B antigens. Since these antigens are not present, a person with any ABO blood group type can receive this type of blood. RH factor RH factor is an inherited protein found on the surface of red blood cells. Here is a representation of the blood groups having RH factor antigen. There is A antigen and B antigen. If your blood has the protein or RH positive, that is in the red blood cell, on the surface of the red blood cell, if protein is present, it means then the RH factor is positive. If your blood lacks the protein, you are RH negative. That is, on the surface of the red blood cells, there is no protein means then it is considered to be RH negative. RH positive is the most common blood type. Importance of RH factor. The RH factor is one of the proteins on the RBCs used to indicate whether the blood of two different people is compatible when mixed. Such as blood of a mother and a baby at birth. It is routine and important that the RH factor for a mother and unborn child be determined during pregnancy. Blood plasma. Blood plasma leaks from capillaries into the tissues around them becoming intestinal fluid. Most of this leaked fluid is reabsorbed into the blood but some of it is drawn into the capillaries of the lymphatic system where it is used as lymph fluid. This transports white blood cells that is which produce antibodies to fight infection and disease around the body. After flowing through the lymphatic system, limb drains back into the blood system once again to be used as blood plasma. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.